Hey guys, finally sleeps here. Today we're going to talk about fishing the market, what it is, how to do it, some of the intricacies of it, and explain how you can make millions of coins every day. Uh, before we get into that though, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, turn on notifications here at YouTube so you don't miss out on when any of the videos post or the live streams from Twitch go live. Speaking of Twitch, make sure you follow along right there. Uh, we stream before reset, usually four days a week on the weekends, that kind of thing. Check out FinallySleeps.com for all things FIFA Mobile, mostly the market. FinallySleeps.com is mostly about the market. Uh, let's get into it. So what is phishing? Phishing is a, a term I coined after suggested prices were added into the market. Before that, we farmed the market. Now we fish the market. Farming, fishing. There's a big difference. Uh, let's let's just start simple. We'll get into it. Explain kind of what the market is. I'm gonna dumb this down as far as I possibly can, just to make this video as short as possible. So here's the market. Now, when you sell a player into the market, you're not really selling it to other players. You're selling that player not to other gamers, but to the bot. The bot runs everything. Um, he's kind of like the dealer at the casino. You're not really giving money to and back and forth to anybody other than the bot, just the bot. So if I was to go in and throw a player in and sell that card to the, good grief, 44K. If I was to throw that card into the market and list it as a posted item for four hours, no one in the world, no other gamer could see my listing. I list directly. It is a transaction between me and the bot. Me and the bot. That's it. Now, when a card is bought in the market, there's a lot of bots. When you buy a card from the bot, a new card will get listed into there. So whatever you buy it for. So if I was to, let's say, buy Fontaine for 25,060 coins, a new Fontaine would get listed with a starting price of 25,060 coins and a buy it now higher. That's how the bot works. It is a fake market. It is not a real market. You can't trade with other players. It You can see what other players see because you're all looking at the same bots. There are actually three different markets. So you could be in one of the three. And if you're in the same market as someone else, you can see the same players that the bot has listed and you can fight over them, but you're not really buying someone else's player. I hope that makes sense. That's the first thing. So you have to understand it's not a real market, and that's why fishing works. The bot buys cards directly from players based on what we call the queue. So it let's say, you know, Mueller right here, this 55 rated cam, the bot is gonna buy that card at the lowest possible price, the bot buys specific numbers of cards based on their rarity, how many there, how many they are, which is the same as rarity. So uh, their drop rate, how many are in the market, how many get listed, what's going on with that card, or a lot of people buying it, and what the lowest value is at that time based on what's ending first. So those are kind of the the basics that we know of as the way the bot market works. So because of that. If you can find lulls, uh, areas where there aren't a very many of a specific card in the market and the bot needs to buy cards, but there aren't very many, then the bot will increase the value of what it's paying for that card and then eventually pay a little bit more for it. That's what I've called a spike. It, it finds an equilibrium. So we're looking for areas where there are lulls in the cards. Now, the reason I usually push fishing in silvers is because there's a lot of silvers. You have 500 to 1,000 of each different OVR, so there's a lot of cards. There's a decent drop rate on them. They do get pumped out every 10 hours in the free packs in the store. Plus, they're easy, they're cheap, and you can find big spikes in them because they, they lose sight. Elites, Masters, that kind of stuff, there's a lot in the market, so it's hard to find big spikes. That's that's a completely different kind of uh, market investing. Uh, you can fish elites and silvers. It's the same concept, but you have to go about it completely different. So this is, this is daily fishing. The way to start it this early in the season is to stick with silvers. So here, now that we've kind of explained everything, 
I'm going to show you how it works. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a range somewhere between 60 and 69, something that's got cards that we can buy for under 2000 and something that actually has bids on it, something that we can see where they're actually moving. That's kind of what I'm looking for just to start this. So we're looking for something just to see where there's cards that are actually moving. Okay, so here's where we're gonna stop. We've got 65, 65, we're seeing sales. They're not big sales, but you can see that we can grab them for about 1600 a piece. That's a good range for these cards, so that's where we're gonna start. We've got 1600, let's just see how low we can go with these things. Let's see if we can buy them under 1500. 1500. Oh, we've got them down. There's one for selling. There. Okay, they're selling around the 700 range. So let's try 1200. This will be our buying value. Yeah, we can still buy them. Maybe we'll go up a little bit more because I want to be able to buy a lot of these cards. Okay, 1500. We're seeing sales in that range, and we've got a lot to buy. So here's how we do it. You're gonna pick an OVR. We're gonna pick 65s just to explain how this works. Now, I'm gonna start buying them a lot. I'm gonna buy as many as I possibly can. Now, if you can see right now, I have 35,000 coins because I'm already investment broke. I've got a few thousand silvers already. So, we'll skip ahead. You're not gonna sit here and watch me buy a lot of these 65s. And if I have to increase the value of them a little bit, I will. But I'm going to buy every 65 I can. Uh, I'll claim I'll claim some sales and buy the rest. So you're going to buy about 1,000. I think that's the number I like to set at. You want about 1,000 of one OVR so that you have multiples of each card. You're going to have some that you don't have duplicates of, but you're going to have a lot that you do. Now, the point of this is you're going to list these cards back into the market and you're going to gain a profit not on the first card you list but on the duplicates when we find the area where the bot is buying we're looking for spikes okay so now that we've bought a, pun a bunch of these cards now don't don't go into the comments on this and say i bought 80 cards or i bought 250 cards and it's not working you need to buy at least a thousand cards Okay, you want a lot of cards. Now you're gonna max out at 1,200. So you've gotta keep these in the market or in your dismiss box so that you can hold that many cards, but you want a lot. So uh, maybe let's say a million coin investment in these. Now, as you can see, a lot of these things are under 800, but my buying rate, I was looking under 1,500. So we're gonna base it off of 1,500. So we're gonna sell the cards we're going to go in and sell them on a 24-hour cycle. If we paid $1,500 for them, we're going to list them with a starting price of, let's say, $3,000. And we're going to look for little miniature spikes. We're going to look for values. So we're going to go $6,000. $3,000 to $6,000. Now, you could go higher there. Generally, I say go two times for your starting price. That's your minimum price. So if we were buying at fifteen hundred, we're going to put our minimum price at three thousand, and anywhere from four to six times for your buy it now. So four times fifteen hundred, six thousand. This is just so we can get some sales and see what's happening. So we're going to start listing one of every card at that price, just one. All right, we're still buying sixty fives. So we're still buying them at about fifteen hundred coins. We're waiting on some sales. There we go. We got starting to see some sales. I've been listing them at that 3,000, 6,000. We're looking for someone that's selling. Now what we do is when we find a spike and we see that something is selling, we check what it is. We got we got a lot of different things selling. Uh, Diego Mauricio. Let's see if we have any of those. We do have multiple duplicates and the value is at 9,200 right now. And we were buying these at 1,500. So we're gonna list three, see what happens. We're gonna continue to buy. 
And if we get any sales out of those in the next couple of seconds, we'll list a few more. We'll check it again. Because again, we paid 1500 for these and a lot of them were getting under 1500 So we played no more than 800 coins for those cards. Whatever you make that first night, throw back into more 65s until you have a full investment. So if you have a thousand cards that you've paid 1500 a piece for, you have about 1.5 million invested into them. Okay, so 1.5 million invested into the cards. If you're looking for spikes in that 6,000 coin range for anything higher, and we can sell cards for, okay, now it's up to 10,000. So if we can sell cards in that range for five to 6,000 and hopefully gain sales out of those cards, uh, if if they don't sell, we'll we'll keep an eye on this. We've got three more to list. We'll, we'll wait and do that in a second. But if you can get sales out of those cards and you can sell, let's say, 20 or 30 a night at that 10,000 coin range, you're making 200 to 300,000 back out of that 1.5 mil investment. If you can get big spikes, like big spikes, there are big spikes available. See, big spikes, 18,000, and they even go up from there. What we got... Uh, 7,200, 18,000, 110,000 for a 64, 63,000 for a 67. These are all just in the silver range. Uh, 16,000, 85,000, 27,000. These are available. Those cards are out there. You just have to find those spikes. So if you're buying in that range... See, we're starting to see sales on these. Let's see if those are the 65s that are going. And we can see that we're starting to make a decent profit on the 65s. And this is just after about eight hours. Yeah, we're starting to see sales. See, they're starting to move. The Mauricio or Mark. Now, it doesn't mean I won't be able to get stuck on that spike and it'll fall off pretty quickly. It's possible. But the money and the value is there. You just have to go into it hardcore with one OVR, one OVR, commit to it, buy at least a thousand cards, list them, starting price a uh, couple times what you paid, uh, with a buy it now anywhere from four to six times what you, what you initial investment was, keep buying them, and if you can make three to four hundred thousand the first couple of nights on those and keep investing into the cards, once you get a pool of a thousand to three thousand cards, that you're listing in the market on a 24 hour cycle. It doesn't take but a week to recover the initial investment in the cards. And then you can start to bring in big numbers. If you're watching me on Twitch, you can see that the fishing and the silvers can easily make a million to five million a night. By the end of FIFA Mobile 20, three and a half to eight million a day, pretty standard in silvers. Pick an OVR, pick two OVRs if you're crazy and you wanna really get into it. Try it, commit to it, do not go in half-ass on this. You either have to buy a lot of cards and commit to it. I know it's a lot of work, it's every day, it does take a while. Suggested price is only after you've found a spike. Don't You don't have to check suggested when you list them on the 24 hour if you know where your range is. So there's a lot more opportunities with fishing than, it, than just what I was explaining there. There are different methods that I'm not going to get into in this video. There are some secret methods. There's a lot of there's a lot more stuff. What I just gave you was the dumbed down, just as simple as you can possibly get fishing the market. There are big numbers in it. You just have to find them. Okay. Hope that helps. Hope that explains what fishing is. Uh, use this method. Let me know in the comments if it's working for you. You don't have to pick 65s. You can go anywhere you want. Any OVR will do it. Um, but right now at the beginning of the season, silver seem to be the best, uh, the easiest. Takes about a million coin investment to really go in on it. Hope that explains it. Uh, make sure you check out one of the other videos here. Like, subscribe, comment, and share here at YouTube. Check out FinallySleeps.com. And don't forget the Discord servers. Uh, Discord.FinallySleeps.com is my invite to the FootMobile Twitch Discord where you can talk to the Twitch streamers and find out when everybody goes live. Uh, that's private sub chat is there too if you're a Twitch subscriber. DiscordApp.com slash invite slash FM is the big Reddit FootMobile Discord server 
for the, all of the foot mobile community. Check that out. If you're not a part of it, come say hi to me in the partners channel. Um, that's it. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Happy selling. Enjoy the fishing guys.